Today we will discuss about the topics of fault equivalence, fault collapsing and fault dominance. Before that we will see the what are the faults which are covered for it to input and gate. At node A we are covering the stuck at 0 fault and stuck at 1 fault. At node B we are covering the stuck at 0 and stuck at 1. At the output node Y we are covering the faults stuck at 0 and stuck at 1. So total 6 faults are covered for a 2 input AND gate. By using the 0 0 input pattern we can achieve stuck at 1 fault at node C. By using 0 1 pattern we can achieve stuck at 1 fault at node A and stuck at 1 fault at node C. So these are the faults which are covered by the all the patterns as shown in the table. Now we'll see what is meant by fault equivalence is. By using 1 1 input pattern we can cover the stuck at 0 fault at node A and stuck at 0 fault at node B and stuck at 0 fault at node C. So by using one pattern we are able to cover three faults. This is known as fault equivalence. Now what is meant by fault collapsing? By using one pattern 1 1 at input node A B we are able to cover three faults. So no need to burden the tool to generate again the stuck at 0 and stuck at 0 a stuck at 0 pattern at node B and stuck at 0 pattern at node C. So these two redundant faults can be eliminated. So this elimination of the redundant faults is known as false collapsing. Now we'll see what is meant by test coverage means. Test coverage means the total number of detected faults divided by total number of testable faults in the design. Suppose if we have the target test coverage to be achieved is 80% and to achieve this 80% test coverage we have the limitation of using only two patterns. So we'll see what are the coverages we can achieve by using two patterns combinations. If I took 0 0 and 0 1 combination the total number of faults I can cover is only 3. So 3 by 6 total number of faults by total number of faults in the design is in 200 gives the test coverage as 50 percent. If I take 0 1 and 1 0 pattern combination I can achieve 4 faults. So 4 by 6 into 100, 66 percent is the coverage I can achieve. If I take the last two patterns 1 0 and 1 1, I can cover 5 faults. So 5 by 6 into 100. So 83 percent coverage I can achieve. This means by fault equivalence I can see the redundant faults and take the best combinations as inputs to achieve the desired coverage. Now what is meant by fault dominance? For example by using 0 0 combination I can achieve stuck at 1 at node C. By using 0 1 combination I can achieve stuck at 1 at node A and as well as stuck at 1 at node C. By using 1 0 combination I can achieve stuck at 1 at node B and also stuck at 1 at node C. So by using these different patterns for each pattern I can recognize different fault. So the total combination total test coverage is 50 percent for only these three faults. For suppose if I use the pattern 0 0 to detect stuck at 1 fault at node C and again if I use 0 1 combination to detect stuck at 1 fault at node C and also use 1 0 pattern to detect this stuck at 1 fault at node C. So only one fault is covered for all the three combinations of patterns. So the coverage I achieved is only 16%. This means 
by using zero one pattern i should only detect stuck at one fault at node a but not the stuck at one fault at node c this is because i am losing the coverage by detecting the same fault again so we should eliminate these type of fault dominates in order to achieve higher coverage 